Hello YouTube, this is Chris and my name is Shantae and today Hello, everybody. we are doing the snack crate, it's upside down, I don't know why, but snack crate box and we just received this in the mail today and if you want one for yourself go to snackcrate.com and I'm going to open the box and we are going to show you the little brochures that we got in with the box from Canada and this one this time is from Canada and it shows you fun facts and things about Canada that you maybe didn't know and it's all in there and these things show you that's everything that's in the box okay so first off we're gonna start with the ketchup chips ketchup chips we're gonna try all those right. today and we're going to see chips. if we like them. These are the ketchup chips. Oh boy. And I'm going to read the, the little caption they gave me. It says, These famous Canadian chips are the perfect mix of savory and salty flavors with a hint of sweetness that makes them irresistible. So, are you ready to try them? Ready to try me. <laughs> okay. I'm opening them up. Yes, I'll be the guinea pig. Smell them. Wow, they sure do smell like ketchup. This is what they look like. I will show you one. They look like just red potato chips. I'm going to let Chris try one first and see if he likes them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I go. Right, ready as I'll ever be. Not bad. Do they it, taste like ketchup? Sure do. They taste just like ketchup. Okay, it's my turn to try one. Wow. Yeah. A little tangy, but they taste like ketchup, all right. If you're a ketchup lover, then these chips are for you. So, I definitely will be eating these later. All right, so what was your take on them? You like them or no? They were awesome. Would you eat them again? Yes. Okay. If they were here in the U.S., then yes, I would. All right, the next things we are going to try is the Fuzzy Peach by Maynard. Let me locate those, and these are right here. Right here. I don't know why everything's upside down. They're fuzzy peach. And I'm not a big fan of peaches, but I'm still going to try it. Never hurts to try anything, right? Oh, I try it once. If I can get it open. Okay, you like your peach sour patch. Okay, so yeah, here's what they look like. So we're going to see if he likes them. Wow. Did These are definitely my favorite. <laughs> Did they taste anything like Sour Patch Kits? You just have to give them a shot and see them for yourself. Okay, here we go. I don't like peach, but I'm going to try it. So you just have to suck it up and deal with it, y'all. Mmm. A little sour. This is something Chris will like. Oh yeah, for sure. Right, Not bad. I have been gone within five minutes. Yeah, who have this? Who have this gone in a jiffy? Oh yeah, for sure. But these are really good. I don't like peach, but they're good. All right. Once I get done chewing this, we are going to try Thrills gum. Them. All right. Okay, I'm going to try the gum because Chris isn't a big fan of gum, so I can't force him to eat something he don't like. So, I will be the one to try the gum. All right, this is the gum. Closer.
Okay. And it says, it still tastes like soap. It's oh, a strange boy. but endearingly Canadian description for this rose water flavored chewing gum. Soap, you said? Yes. Soap? It still tastes like soap. Well, you just let me know how that tastes. If I don't like it, I'm spitting it out. All right. All right, here goes nothing. I still got this peach taste in my mouth. I kind of get the soap flavor. It doesn't taste like soap. Not sure if I'm a big fan. It's okay. I wouldn't chew it on a regular. Well, I have to have Chris try it later if I can talk him into it. Later. Much later. It's not bad. But I'm going to spit it out now because I got other things I need to try. Okay. I will put this in the grass. <laughs> in the grass. Okay. That was okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to try is the maple lollipop. And that is right here. Maple lollipop. All right. The quint the Canadian treat is made of 100% pure maple syrup. What more could you ask for? So we're going to try this. And I'll let Chris try first. Oh, I have to try it first. Yeah. He's going to try it first and tell me what he thinks. This shall be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, and by the way, if you like what you see here on this YouTube channel, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And just comment below. All right. All right. Here goes nothing. If you like maple syrup, then this is for you. Oh, God. Take a lick off of it. Yeah. Just like syrup. Maple syrup. Is it yum? Just try it for yourself. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, it sure is mapley. Makes me want to have pancakes. What about it, you? Pancakes? Yeah. Well, you want to have pancakes. It makes me want to have waffles instead of pancakes. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Put that back in the little container. I'll set it up here. How about if I make up some waffles later, honey? Okay. The next thing we're going to try is ruffles all dressed. And they are right here. And this says the most popular chip in Canada. Made with paprika and a secret blend of spices. So it's, good. Is it spicy? I don't know. We'll try. Oh, man. What's the brand? Ruffles. Ruffles. Okay, I'm going to try them. Want to smell? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Chris is going to be the guinea pig. Why do I even want to try it? Here they are. The world wants to see you try it first. The next chip I will. Here. Oh, come on. Try it. Are you sure this is not spicy? I'm not sure because it's just, don't tell me that. Well, you know what? Try them. I got my water just in case, okay. ladies and gentlemen. That's one I, I will never try again. You don't like it? I don't like that. <laughs> Not one of my favorites. It's not bad. I don't know if I would buy these though. For uh, for ourselves. 
They're okay, but not my favorite. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is Macintosh Toffee. That's what we're going to try. And it says, enjoyed in Canada for over 100 years. Macintosh's toffee is known for being not too hard and not too soft. So we're going to try this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try this. This is the Macintosh toffee. I need to take a drink. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I had to get that chip taste out of my mouth. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to try it. Oh, man. Okay, I had this in the refrigerator, so it's kind of hard right now. I can't even eat this right now because it's cold. So we'll come back to that. Okay, from what I tasted on the, when I put my mouth on, it was really good taste. So we'll come back to that. Okay. The next thing we're going to try, and I know Chris will like these. These are called Juicy Squirts. Are y'all going to like them? Yes. And these are it right here. All right. And it says, these soft and snackable gummies are filled with a sweet splash of fruit flavor in every bite. Okay. All right. You going to try them? I'm going to drop them first and get it up on the ground. There's one to try. And I have a red one, ladies and gentlemen. I have a red one. I have an orange looking one. You That's know, that. they remind me of fruit gushers that we have in the United States. And these are good. We'll eat these for sure. Oh, yeah. We'll eat them for sure. Okay. The next thing we are going to try is Doritos Zesty Cheese. These chips feature a blend of Parmesan and cheddar cheese with a delicious, deliciously tangy kick. Really? These are it. Right here. We like our Doritos. We like Doritos. I never had these because obviously they're from Canada, so they smell like Doritos, yeah, regular do. regular Doritos, and they're kind of an orangish color. I'll give him one. I know what I heard type first. And I'll take one. So here I go. Mm. Oh, good. Pretty good? Yeah. I'm good. They are? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to try this. Okay. Go ahead. Here I go. To me, they taste like a regular Dorito. They're not bad. I give them a thumbs up. Yeah, these are good, Canada. Good job. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is Ringolo's Barbecue. Crunchy rings made from corn and infused with savory and smoky barbecue flavor. These are it, right here. Let me go look. All right. These are what they look like. They're little brown things that look like rings. I'm gonna try it first this time. It kind of reminds me of a, kind of like a corn chip, but not as hard, more softer. I'm going to give Chris one, he's try it. So, how good are these? They're good. They're really good? Mm -hmm. And the brand is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how this tastes.
they're just okay. They're I not like one of my them. Favorites, but they're I okay. like them. They're pretty good. Everybody has their own taste. Okay, the next thing we are going to try. Now, I'm skipping some because I've got all the chocolate in the refrigerator because we're doing it outside and it's hot out here. And I'm going to save all the chocolate for last. And it's about 90 degrees or so where we are. It's very hot and humid. And all the chocolate would have melted. So yes. We're going to try the Passion Flaky. This light and sweet Canadian favorite features flaky pastry filled with fruity jelly and cream. Now, I don't normally like pastries. Chris normally does because he gets them from the store. But... I'm going to try it anyway, and this is it. This is what it looks like. You ready to try it? Ready as I'll ever be. This is up your alley here. Is that my alley, huh? Yeah, because you like pastries. Do you want to try it first, or do you want me to try? Uh, the world wants to see you try it first. See, okay. this is the, you can see the cream filling and the jelly. Okay. okay, you try it, then I will. I'm going to try it. That must look like a pop tart in the way. I had to get some of that filling. Not bad. Like I said, I'm not really a pastry person. Now he's going to try it. Alright, here I go. It's alright. He'll probably finish it if he likes it. Pretty good. Will you finish it? I think I just might finish this later on. Alright. Alright, did you I get, get some that a thumbs the, up. Did you get some of the filling? Yes, I did. It's apple raspberry, is what the filling is. Okay. Those I got in the refrigerator. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is dill pickle chips. And oh my gosh, I do not like pickles. As one of my least favorite things, and you can ask him. Every time I order a cheeseburger, no pickles. Right? Right. She so, does not like pickles we're going to try like those and see what I think of them. And I already know what I think I'm going to think of them, but I'm going to try them anyways. And it says, these crispy chips feature a zesty dill pickle flavor that makes for a delightfully addictive burst of flavor in every bite. So we're going to try these, the same brand as the ketchup chips. So. Hey, if you're a fan of pickles, comment below. If you dislike the pickles, comment below anyway. I mean, that if you like them or dislike them. Okay. So, since Chris is a pickle lover, I'm going to let him try first this time. Okay? Ooh, they really smell like pickles. Smell them. Wow. Okay, I'm going to show him what they look like. Here's what they look like. And he's going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> she hates pickles, ladies and gentlemen. She really does. Well, here goes nothing. Well, what do you think of them? I think I might have to just finish those. They good? Okay, I'm going to take your word for it, and I'm going to try this little bitty one. Okay? So here goes nothing. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> now fuck it up and deal with it. Uh-uh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Those are all him. All him. Oh, yeah. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is tangy, do I have those in here? Yes. Tangy Zangy. Get ready to pucker. These fruit gum sticks are coated in super sour sugar. We've included either blue raspberry or strawberry. And we got the blue raspberry. Okay. They even have a sour strawberry flavor and a sour wild fruit flavor. Wow. 
You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So we're going to try these. Okay. Okay. Our kitty cat joined us. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Her name is Missy, and she's our kitty kitty, and she wanted to join in. Okay, back to the video. I'm going to open the sour blue raspberry flavored twisties. And we're going to see if we like them. If I can get the thing open. She so says, you need help. Yeah, I can open it. All right. These probably remind us of sour punch straws. They're little bitty ones. Miss it, you want to sniff it? Not even sour. They're not? Mm -mm. They remind me of sour punch straws. Okay. What now? Okay. They're not gum. So not I'm gonna gum. let you try one. Wow. And they remind you of sour punch straws? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm thinking I felt a raindrop, so hopefully we don't have to take this inside. Oh man. I felt something. It's supposed to rain a little bit this afternoon, so the next thing we're going to try is Oh no, dill pickle popcorn. Oh yeah. Another pickle thing. Canada must love their pickles. Freshly popped and ready for munching. Enjoy this Canadian native snack of popcorn brushed with a dill pickle flavor. This will be another thing for Chris to try. And me, of course. Pickle popcorn, you said? Yeah, here they are. You guys, I'm sorry that things are upside down like this. I don't know why, but you get the idea. Set from farm, I think we might just throw it Canada to table. All right. I'll let Chris try the popcorn since he's a pickle lover. This is what it looks like, typical popcorn. I don't think popcorn, but maybe if it tastes like pickle, you might love it. It really doesn't even taste like pickles. You don't? No. Okay, well, I'm going to try it. He says it don't taste like pickles, so. It just tastes like regular popcorn. I get a hint of a pickle, but not. it's not really pronounced. I think we might have to take this in five soon because I okay. see some rain clouds over us. All right. One more thing to try that's not chocolate. And that is um, wine gums. Delightful fruit flavored chewy gums in multiple flavors and bright colors stamped with signature wine label on each candy. Okay. So these are it, right here, wine gums. So we're gonna try these real quick, and then we might have to take this inside. I felt the rain already. All right. I'll make this quick. This is what they look like, little gummies. Let him try one. If you can't, then we'll spit it out. It just tastes like a just a gummy, like yeah, a gummy worm, a gummy bear. That's what they are. So we're gonna pack up all this stuff, we're and we're gonna do the chocolate and the drink that we have inside. Okay, I'm gonna pause this, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. We're back. Sorry we had to bring this indoors. It started raining outside, and I didn't want the phone to get wet. So now we got our chocolate. 
I'm going to start back on the front, wherever the okay, wherever the chocolate start. Okay, the first thing we're going to try is Glossette Raisinets. Grab your favorite movie and this favorite snack, sweet raisins drenched in creamy milk chocolate. So let me locate them. Here they are. We're going to try this. These are chocolate covered raisins. Chocolate covered raisins. So I will try them first and tell you how they are. They might be all stuck together because when we got this, everything was melted. Oh, yeah. It was so hot here. Okay. I got one right there. Do they taste like raisins? Mm -hmm. Just like the chocolate covered raisins we have here in the U.S. I'm going to give one to Chris, and we can try them. Oh, yeah, these are really good. I'm going to be honest about that. That was probably one of my favorites. Those are really good. Okay. The next thing we will try is Smarties. Oh, Smarties. By Nestle. A longtime favorite in Canada. These chocolate candies are covered in a brightly colored sugar coating. And these are it. Right here. Now, we have Smarties in the U.S., but they're not chocolate. They're just little round candies, fruit-flavored candies. So, we're going to see if we like these. They kind of remind me of an m and but flatter. Hmm. And these are it. I got a yellow one. It kind of reminds me of an M&M. Mm. I'm going to give Chris a red one. Alright, I'll try the red one, y'all. So, what do you think of this? I think they're good. They taste kind of like an M&M. Okay. Just flatter. And the outside's a little crunchier. Yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Yeah, you can also those. follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are good. I would definitely eat those. They remind yeah. me of an M&M. Okay, the next thing we're going to try is... Crispy Crunch by Cadbury. This candy bar features a crispy peanut flake interior wrapped in delicious Cadbury chocolate. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody's had Cadbury eggs, you know they got good chocolate. So, hopefully... And hopefully it's not too sweet. And here is the candy bar. Cadbury Crispy Crunch. Now, all this chocolate was melted, so I had to throw it in the refrigerator for a couple hours before we were able to do this. So, here's what the candy bar, okay, what is this? Is that? Okay, that's just paper. I'm glad it's the paper. Tell us more about that. This is the candy bar, what it looks like. I'm going to try it. It reminds me of a Butterfinger. A Butterfinger? This is the inside. No. I like first try. It's good. It reminds me of a Butterfinger. Yeah. All it is is Butterfinger. Exactly what it tastes like. Yep. Wow. Really good. We'll be finishing that one. Sure. And don't laugh. I started to eat the paper. Laugh at her. Okay. <laughs> The next thing we're going to try is a Wonder Bar from Cadbury. And this is it right here. Wonder Bar. It says, this marvelous candy bar features Cadbury milk chocolate filled with peanut butter, rice crisp, and delicious caramel. 
We're going to try this one. Okay. Is this going to taste like a Butterfinger too? <laughs> this is the candy bar. Mm. It doesn't, but it's good. So what does it taste like again? You can taste the peanut butter. It's like peanut butter? You never had a Snickers peanut butter. That's what it reminds me of. A uh, Snickers peanut butter bar. Am I going to like this? Yeah. Man. I might as well use the whole thing. I'm not going to share with her. <laughs> I'm not going to fight him over it. If he wants it, he can have it. I'm not stingy. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is I'm going to finish everything on that one. Oh Henry. This is the Oh Henry. Oh Henry. And it says Reese's Peanut Butter Center with a creamy caramel chewy fudge wrapped in peanuts and coated in rich chocolate. Hmm. Okay, we're going to try this one out. And it's made with Reese's peanut butter. Reese's, oh man. Now we all like Reese's. No. Yeah. Reese's is the best. Yeah. It's the candy bar. So you want to try it or you want me to try it? Since I'm, I'm a gentleman, I like to let the ladies try first. Okay, so here we go. And definitely peanut butter, peanutty, it reminds me of a payday. Reminds you of what? A payday. A payday bar? Except with chocolate around it. It's good. It's good. Alright, it's my turn. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking another bite. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Uh oh. I'm making a mess on the table. Oh man. Alright. The next one will be arrow arrow peppermint. I'm not really a big fan of peppermint, but I'll try it. And this one was really melty when I got it, so hopefully I'll be able to get it from open. Here it is. By Nestle. A light and